in the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful. Mr. President, addressing today's and tomorrow's challenges demands collaboration rooted in justice and integrity. Let us build a just and thriving future for our children. The central focus of this joint effort is to highlight the role and status of the United Nations as a symbol of multilateralism and to promote respect for the goals and principles of its charter. The Islamic Republic of Iran has in the past expressed its views on the pact for the future. Our collaborative efforts for the future should focus on reinforcing the multilateral system to effectively tackle fundamental challenges like war, discrimination, poverty, and hunger. The role of culture and family values, the necessity of intergenerational dialogue to preserve cultural values, and the attention to the role of women, girls, and youth, as well as their empowerment, are undeniable. The priorities of my administration at the national level include a focus on health, public education, public welfare, social security, creating equal opportunities, and reducing various forms of inequality, fair income distribution, strengthening and consolidating the family institution, reducing poverty and discrimination, expanding social justice, empowering women and youth, and fostering the enjoyment of a sustainable environment. Mr. President, achieving peace and development require respect for the right to development of nations, attention to their development priorities and cultural nuances, adherence to principles of fairness and solidarity, and the fulfillment of commitments by developed countries towards developing nations. Unilateral sanctions have hindered progress towards sustainable development goals and must be addressed in any document prepared for the future. I propose to the UN Secretary General, in collaboration with countries affected by unilateral sanctions, present a comprehensive report on this matter to the General Assembly. We call for the urgent reforms in the governance structure of international financial institutions to ensure the participation of developing countries in decision-making and norm-setting, creating a fair and accountable framework to address the financial needs of developing nations. The Pact for the future of the Global Digital Compact should contribute to reducing the digital divide between the global north and south, particularly through the transfer of new technologies, capacity building, and removing barriers. Equal and effective participation of the global south countries in the governance of the internet and artificial intelligence, respect for national laws, and addressing monopolistic practices are essential imperatives. Dear colleagues, we call for a world free of nuclear weapons and a Middle East free of weapons of mass destruction without any preconditions. As a victim of terrorism, we have always been at the forefront of the fight against the vile, this vile phenomenon and are ready to cooperate with countries genuinely seeking to combat terrorism. Iran seeks a strong, secure, and stable region where the resources of the countries can be used for mutual benefit in advancing economic and social progress and addressing common challenges. In a world where civilians in Gaza are ruthlessly killed, state-sponsored terrorism brutally targets children and women, and genocide and assassination are supported, no document will guarantee peace and development. The end of occupation, the cessation of apartheid in Palestine, and an immediate ceasefire in Gaza are prerequisites for global development and peace. The Islamic Republic of Iran is prepared to work with other countries to achieve common global goals. Thank you.